Hey everybody, my name is Matt Malaro, and I'm running for district attorney in the 18th Judicial District. I'm really excited to be running for this office. I'm really excited about our campaign's approach to community-centered criminal justice reform. Um, there are a lot of things we can do to make huge changes. My vision is one of criminal justice reform in a practical way, but across all parts of the criminal justice system. We're going to focus in on juvenile justice right out of the gate. We're going to expand juvenile diversion practices and restorative justice uh, to make sure more kids get into the system than have been before. We want to make sure that kids are getting into the diversion system but not the criminal justice system. Uh, we can do that by just changing our criteria, defining what success looks like a little bit differently, and giving more kids an opportunity to succeed. We're also going to change the way we look at the system um, in total. And the way we do that is to address systemic racism head on. Um, we all know that implicit bias plays a role in every decision that is made in the criminal justice system and, frankly, in the community at large. What we have to make sure we're doing is admitting that it exists and then acknowledging that we all play a role in um, taking care of this issue and reducing the existence of systemic racism. We do that by front-loading resources. My vision is to take resources from the back end, the later prosecution parts of a case, and really move them up to the front. So when we're dealing with bail and bail reform, when we're dealing with filing decisions and plea agreements, this is the place where implicit bias takes hold and actually changes the trajectory of somebody's life. If we can have a really good look and a really 360 holistic view of every offender and every case, we're going we're gonna to really take care of systemic bias in a large way. And that's one part of my goal to deal with systemic racism in the system. We're also going to make sure we're back into the community. Um, the DA's office is really supposed to be representative of the entire community, and right now it is very much estranged from parts of the community. We need to get into our marginalized communities, but also just connect in general uh, with communities that do not feel represented by the district attorney's office. Uh, with that said, we're going to open a community engagement office in Aurora. We're going to have at least two or three staff members there, um, not to prosecute, uh, to um, relate, to talk to, to make sure that people have services. What that'll do is it'll create a bond between between the community and the district attorney's office that should be part of that community. And ultimately, people will open up. They will trust the DA's office. They might come out of the shadows, report crimes. So people will not be uh, victimized and re-victimized by the system and by the DA's office. We want to make sure that people feel comfortable coming to us and making sure that justice is done. I'm running out of time, but I would love for you to go to my website and really take a look at not just my vision, but how I'm going to implement it. I don't think accepting somebody's word that they have a vision to change things without asking them the question, how are you going to do it, makes a whole lot of sense. I'd ask you to ask me those questions. Go to my website and then call me after, and I will answer all of your questions. I would really uh, appreciate everybody's support at the 18th JD Assembly. Thank you so much.